Well, what's up guys? As you can see, I got the truck here and I am out camping again. So the reason I'm out here tonight is, although you guys can't see it, there is a lake out there. And uh, I'm supposed to be meeting a buddy here in the morning and we're gonna be meeting him at the boat ramp. I think he has a boat. I would assume since he said meet me at the boat ramp, he's got a boat. So I'm like about an hour and a half away from home. And I figured instead of getting up at the butt crack of dawn again, like I have been doing, that I would just pack up and come out here tonight. I don't have any of a, I don't have sheet on or anything. And I had taken all this stuff out and the cooler and everything out because I was kayaking and, and fishing until like noon today. And then I had to run home, edited a video quick, threw all my crap in the truck and I made it out here. Bought some hot dogs and some tater salad. And I was gonna have myself a nice fire. But I'm dumb anyways, and I completely forgot to pick up any firewood. So thankfully I have my grill with me. Otherwise I wouldn't be able to cook my hot dogs. When we're gonna get that stuff cooked up here real quick. Once I get this all set up, we're just gonna hang out at camp tonight, show you guys the park a little bit, and then uh, hopefully catch some fish tomorrow. I'm gonna go ahead and get this stuff set up and then I'll get back to you guys and we'll get to cooking dinner. Got the bed set up, bed's made, fans plugged in and uh i think it's time to eat some dinner let's give you a time check 7 35. i actually got here a little bit earlier than i thought i was going to so we've got some nice walmart tater salad amish with sweet pickle and egg i might end up eating that whole thing basic ballpark franks and then i found this so another stupid thing that i always have an issue with is like i'll get this stuff i always forget to bring condiments so i usually just grab this stuff as i hit the grocery store and it's like i've got so many bottles of ketchup at home now it's kind of ridiculous but i found this stuff and it looks pretty good twisted ranch cheesy smoked bacon looks pretty good i don't know we'll see what it tastes like we're gonna pull the old grill out from under the bed here and we're gonna get to cooking dinner Than fancy meals. Those birds are. Geez, those birds are loud. Somebody asked about the grill. This is just a cheap Coleman grill from Walmart. And I don't know if they still have this one because I bought this thing years ago. So we're going to go ahead and get this guy going. We'll give that a minute or so to heat up. And I'm going to swap this whole water out for a brewski. Pretty good. Go ahead and slap a couple of these guys on there here. I'll, I'll give you guys a good view of that. Definitely taste the bacon. It'll be really good on a hot dog. Dang, these things are getting crispy fast. I'm burning my wieners. Ah. I had that thing cooking pretty good. It's all right. I don't mind a little uh, crispy wiener. Honestly, these guys are probably pretty well cooked up. I'm surprised how many people are camping here tonight. Put on some of our twisted, cheesy, smoked bacon ranch. Smells good. You guys want to taste? Nom, 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 nom. It's good. That's all you need. Tater salad's good. I mean, you can't go wrong with pre-made tater salad. Good stuff. This stuff is good. I would definitely uh, recommend that. And they had like three or four different flavors. I couldn't tell you what the other ones were, but this one looked the best. Cheesy smoked bacon ranch. Got cows moving in the background, birds chirping, eating bacon ranch, hot dogs, 
tater salad. They call me tater salad. Little Ron White, he's pretty funny. I'm actually going to save the rest of that tater salad. I might snack on that later tonight. Just throw that in the cooler. We'll kind of leave dinner at that. I'm going to get this finished up and get this stuff put away. And then we'll go for a little walk. I got everything in here cleaned up. So we're going to go take a walk and take a look at the lake. Oh. Uh, so I decided to walk this way. The park is actually back behind me. Well, I mean, it's over here too. I don't know if you guys can see. We'll get, we'll go down that direction. That's the uh, tent camping site here. So we'll go down there and take a look at it. But I chose to go this way because there's a ton of people over there. Uh, like I said, I'm surprised how busy this place is. I imagine it's probably pretty buggy down here, but I don't know. These sites aren't terrible. They're all pretty stacked pretty close together. I mean, you can see table, 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 table. You have little signposts here. Let's see how many of them is there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. Looks like there's 13, 14 spots in this little area. And it's used. People have left their trash in the fire pits as usual. Don't leave your trash in the fire pits. It's not that hard to throw it away. <laughs> But we're almost up here to the water and I can kind of show you guys what I was talking about with the fact that it's super weedy But this is also the more shallow end of the lake. I mean, it'd be kind of cool to camp over in this area Just throw it in the trash. It's not that hard Oop, it's carrying off. Oh look, it's like a muskrat See him? Oh, he went under the water. I was looking and I saw all these lines and I was like, well, there's been frogs or somebody's been throwing frogs over here, but might just be that dude running around. But yeah, if you can see in the water here, it's just nothing but slop. And as far out as you can see, it's the same way. It's all that, all over there. The last time I was out here and fished this, those birds don't like me here. The last time I was out here and fished it was not that bad. Uh, this is the spot that, oh, this lake was the spot that I filmed my last ice fishing video of the year at. And then I was recently out here with Jeff, not Jeff from the walleye trip, but different Jeff. And we had fished a couple lakes and then we came to this one and we caught a few bass. So, I mean, it's a productive lake and actually there's a lot of bass in this lake. Typical state minimum for a bass to keep in Nebraska is like 21 inches everywhere. Here it's 15. So that kind of says something about the fact that there's a lot of bass in the lake here. This isn't a bad area. I mean, it'd be nice to come camp here. And even like this, I like to camp off my motorcycle, but I don't want to leave my motorcycle in a parking lot up there and have to walk down here to a tent. So that leaves you with a RV lot. It's just, I kind of wish Nebraska had more spots that you could just pull off and camp. Just grass lots. Kind of want to walk through here. You want to go? Let's walk through here. I'm going to get spidey webs all over my face i think it's just a parking lot over here yep just a extra parking lot yeah this must just be overflow parking they have signed trails you guys probably can't see it over there next to that sign there's a sign that tells the trail and you can see where it starts over there if you go way back down that way there's an archery range we're gonna go ahead and walk back to the camper. I'm gonna crawl in there and get a movie going. And honestly, I probably only have about an hour of light left and I'd like to get to bed early tonight. I don't know, I think Kenny said he was gonna be here at seven. I'd like to be up pretty early, get my breakfast and coffee in before I have to get on the water. Hopefully take a morning poo. <laughs> You'll have to stay tuned for the next one to see if I actually catch any fish because I've been riding the struggle bus lately. Caught one fish this morning on a frog. Oh, that's kind of cool. It's like a big deep ravine back there. Oh, there's water down there. I don't know if you guys can see the puddle down there. I'm, I'm guessing that's like a haven for skeeters out there. So, what's that guy doing talking to himself? What the hell's going on? And here we are back at my truck. Hop in the back of the truck here and I'm gonna get a movie going. So I'll see you guys in a little while. All right, y'all. Well, I'm headed to bed. Uh, watched a couple movies and I got a hold of Kenny and uh, he's actually gonna be here at like 5 30 in the morning so i need to get to bed uh, i hope you guys enjoyed today's episode uh, make sure to stay tuned for the next one see if we catch anything uh, if not i guess i'll probably see you guys down in uh, missouri that's about it guys
it was a nice evening in the truck here. It's actually kind of cool. I've got the windows open, but I've got the curtains closed and I've got the fan just kind of half in the window there. The half of the window is right there. So only half of it's blowing. The whole window's open, but the curtains are closed. I'm a little chilly, of course, on the night that uh, I don't bring a blanket. I'm kind of cold, so I could turn the fan off, but I'd like the circulation. I did have a pair of sweatpants in here, so I changed into those. But anyways, guys, uh, I'm going to close this video out here. Uh, make sure to stay tuned for the next one. I'm going to be meeting Kenny in the morning. He's actually going to be here at 530 in the morning. So, uh, yeah, it's, I'm getting after it early. So stay tuned for the next adventure, guys. I'll see you in a bit. Thank you.